Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your June astrology. Woo! It's a big one. We're back in retrograde season and we have the annual new moon eclipse of the sun. So it's all about going back, learning, grabbing the treasure from the past and getting ready to transform ourselves yet again. It may sound intense, but there's some lovely aspects this month, including Venus trying Jupiter. And also we have Venus in Cancer making us want to nurture and then Venus in Leo making us confident. So self-nurturing at the beginning of the month, grabbing your courage and power as we move further into the month. Here's your monthly astrology. Scorpio, we have an intense month, but you thrive on intensity. We have two further retrogrades and a solar eclipse. So strap yourself in. It's going to be a wild ride. Now, it kicks off with Venus, the planet of love and abundance in your adventure zone. That's super exciting because you are feeling that you can be active to go and chase your dreams and show the world what you're made of. And you can fearlessly express your unique soul this month. And I highly recommend you do it. Get out there, be adventurous, learn, study, embrace brand new experiences, certainly at the beginning of the month. And that should lead not only to happiness and creativity, but also potential good fortune. As we have Venus, Trine Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. And Jupiter is in your pleasure zone and your happiness zone. So I would say at the start of this month, you're like, yeah, very excited until Jupiter goes retrograde. But I'll get to that in a minute. Now, the first intense thing that happens for you is when Mars opposes Pluto. You may be going through an internal power struggle where on the one hand you want to push forward, but on the other hand, you're like, oh, you know, if I make changes, will I be more happy or less happy? Don't overthink it. And certainly don't have a big old, you know, punch up with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be loving to yourself. Let that Venus energy work for you. Let Jupiter show you the way to happiness. You don't need to have a power struggle. Well, of course, it could be someone else is having a power struggle with you because you want to change things up. You want to spread your wings. You want to move forward. Now, all will be revealed with this new moon annual solar eclipse on around the 10th, depending on where you are, because it's in your power zone. It's very Scorpio energy, actually. It's all about your primal emotions. Now, when we have a solar eclipse, initially we can go, oh, you know, oh, it's all a bit intense and I don't, I can't really see what's going on in my life. But then it passes and it gives you a massive reveal. And hopefully, because it's a new moon, it's about a new cycle of you truly stepping into your power. I mean, we're always constantly stepping into our power, sometimes stepping back, but we're inching forward, you know, even if it's two step forwards, one step back, we're still going in the right direction. Um, then we have the sun joining forces with Mercury retrograde and you may be discussing or talking about some issues in the past. It's worth reflecting on when in your life did you feel the most powerful? What does it mean to you to feel powerful? What does power mean for you in the future? Think about these things because an answer is coming. Mars, the planet of action, the planet of passion is going into your career zone. So you can really drive forward on what you want to achieve. If you're not working at the moment, it's about your reputation. It's about how you see yourself out there in the world. Maybe something that you're passionate about that you want to work on and you can uh, hunker down and get on with it. Of course, Mercury is retrograde until later in the month, but it does all clear up in June. That's the good news. The sun in Gemini is trying the moon on June the 20th on the same day that Jupiter goes retrograde. What does it mean when Jupiter goes retrograde? Because, of course, Jupiter is all about going forward and breaking through boundaries. When Jupiter goes retrograde, we do the internal work, which will ultimately lead to a push forward. But we, we look for the divine within ourselves. And, and this Jupiter retrograde is about your pleasure and your creativity. Is there anything internally any work you need to do so that you can bring more pleasure in your life. Do you believe you deserve happiness and pleasure? Let me tell you, you so do. Allow yourself to feel that, do the work. And maybe it's a, a process of you thinking and, and percolating on creative ideas. You know, ideas take time. You know, it's a bit like giving birth. Sometimes it can take 
you know, nine months, nine years to bring an idea into being. But it, the internal work is important to deliver what you want to creatively. Now, we do have a fixed grand cross, okay, if you include the moon, which I do because I'm not a patriarchal astrologer. And this fixed grand cross, I describe it like this. We are the conductor of our lives, our belief system, our skills, our emotional reactions, our talents. And if our orchestra is not in tune, we are not playing the divine song that we should and could and will. And this fixed grand cross is pointing out things that are out of balance for us to bring into harmony. And the moon in, is in Scorpio, so it's quite emotional for you, but you should get a strong sign from the cosmos about what you need to do to bring yourself more into harmony. And you so as I say, deserve it. And to soften it, we have Venus trine Neptune, which is a very spiritual occurrence, very magical. And I think you're going to find joy in the changes. I really, really do. The sun is also entering Cancer and it's the summer solstice. There's a grand water trine on the 22nd, which is a big love shower from the universe. And again, you're right in there with the moon in Scorpio and you are like opening up to the possibilities and the wonder and the magic. And again, lovely adventures, moments of sheer joy this month, as well as doing the learning. Also on the 22nd, Mercury stations direct, happy days. And you're feeling gradually awakening to feeling more powerful. The sun is trying Jupiter, joy, happiness, adventure, experiencing things, even if you're still doing the internal work. There's a full moon in Capricorn and there should be a message of synchronicity or really important news coming for you. It's all about ideas and communication. And sometimes it can be emotional when there's a full moon. It might be emotional news, but it always has a deeper, more spiritual purpose. Neptune's going retrograde in your pleasure zone. But you know what? Neptune going re retrograde is a good thing because it grounds our creativity. So it really is going to be helpful for you when Neptune goes retrograde. Finally, Venus enters Leo and you're feeling so confident potentially channel that energy about your career yeah baby take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.